China's veto of the Syria resolution became a late add to the prime minister's agenda as he prepared to travel to Beijing this week. But Stephen Harper's five-day trip to China will still be primarily a trade mission. Little mention of human rights, much attention on how to get China to buy more from Canada. Our senior correspondent Terry Malofsky is on his way to China tonight to cover the visit. So much has changed since Stephen Harper famously declared that he would not court China by selling out on human rights. I don't think Canadians want us to sell out important Canadian values, our belief in democracy, freedom, human rights. Uh, they don't want it to sell that out to the almighty dollar. But five and a half years later, the almighty dollar is looking pretty good. Harper began his bid for a new relationship with China two years ago on his first visit to the emerging economic giant. Harper said he would speak up for human rights and business at the same time. We will continue to raise issues of freedom and human rights, be a vocal advocate and an effective partner for human rights reform, just as we pursue the mutually beneficial economic relationship desired by both of our countries. That part of the plan did show results. Today, China has emerged as a massive investor in the Alberta oil sands. At the same time, the floundering U.S. economy has led Harper to see China as a crucial new market. China is cracking down hard on protests by restive ethnic groups, and human rights watchers fear that the almighty dollar is pushing their concerns onto the back burner. Uh, and we want to convey the message as to how vitally important it is that the deeply troubling human rights situation in China be a central focus of his trip. This political scientist says Harper shouldn't waste his breath scolding China. They've made it clear time and time again that they're not going to be lectured to, and they think that the time has passed for them to be lectured to. Instead, the Chinese think it's time for the traditional reward for good behavior, a couple of pandas for display in Canadian zoos. That gift will mark a dramatic change from the days when Harper's emphasis on human rights put relations into a deep chill. Now he is in line for pandas and for investment agreements and perhaps for a bigger piece of China's enormous economic pie. Tori Malewski, CBC News, Ottawa.